Hi everyone. Thank you for watching. This is a test of the Go Extreme Pioneer Action Camera. The objective of this test is to see the stability of the picture quality um, mounted on my Mitsubishi Pajero's roof rack. I have tried to get as many angles, well four angles, into the sun, uh, sun from the sides and sun from the back. Now at the time of this recording the sun was pretty low. Luckily in South Africa our roads has got a lot of speed bumps so there's much opportunity to test a camera for stability. Our roads are also a bit bumpy so that gives me the opportunity to actually test the camera for image stability. If you find this footage useful please like, subscribe to my channel and click on the notify button so that you will be notified when I upload the next video. If I can make a suggestion to Easy Picks, I would suggest a little bit of consistency between different cameras and the menus because I have the Black Hawk 4K uh, Go Extreme camera as well and the menu system from the Go Extreme Black Hawk and the Go Extreme Pioneer differs completely which makes it a bit more difficult to use. This section over this bridge is particularly bumpy and I expected the camera to have some distortion going across. It handled it very well. The reason why I ended up with two cameras the Black Hawk 4K and the uh, Pioneer is that my bank gives me like Voyager points for spending money and then I have an option to spend those Voyager miles or vo Voyager points on things that I like and they had the Black Hawk 4K and I took that and I had a couple of points left over so I said well better to spend it on another camera so I bought the Pioneer as well and you know if you can have more angles it's so much better. I must also make it very clear that I'm not paid by anybody to make this video and this is purely for the interest of my viewers. I do however have a concern about the temperature in this watertight housing. Whenever I took the camera out of the housing it was very hot and I didn't even record the whole battery life. So I would say uh, temperature will definitely be a problem in the housing and we are in winter here by us in South Africa now so temperatures are way lower what which they would be in summer and I think in summer in the watertight housing you will ha definitely have a temperature problem inside the housing. I'm very impressed with the picture quality you can even see the texture on the road which makes it very nice. The audio on this camera mounted in its waterproof housing is completely useless. The only v sound I got was a little bit of s wind noise and then a deep low frequency noise from the roof rack and a little bit of crackling as I go over bumps. So in the housing this camera's audio is completely useless. Taking the camera out of the housing, the audio is slightly better, 
but not nearly good enough to be used in video. It will, however, help to sync your other audio with the video that you've taken with this camera. I take my hat off to this camera. It really handled the test well. If you find this video useful, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and click on the notify bu button to be notified when I upload the next video. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Goodbye.